Hey, hello everybody. It is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters. Located here in East Central Florida, near uh, just east of Orlando, near Titusville, Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach, New Smyrna Beach. And uh, we're in June 2020, and I'm going to do a quick and simple review over a, a Garmin chart plotter here. Uh, with uh, side imaging, down view, clear view, all that good stuff. Uh, recently, I had to replace my 7607 XSV side imaging, and I wound up getting the 8610 XSV. Uh, with the uh, 54 uh, uh, Ultra High Definition Transducer, and so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review over this, and I'm going to just I'm not going to go over a lot of the quick technical detail stuff. Um, I'm going to go over mostly. Um, you can always go to Garmin's website to do the uh, specs and stuff, and look at the all the technical aspects of it. Um, you know, there's no sense of me doing that. I'm mostly going to give you what my thoughts are. I'm going to let you see a few screenshots. Uh, obviously, I'm in my house. Um, I've just got it hooked up to a battery. And uh, we're going to just uh, do it a simple uh, like that. A um, little tough to do it on the boat. See if I can move the camera in a little bit closer there. So I was also able to download um, their high definition uh, GPS chart, which allows for layers to be overloaded. And what I hope you can see that, see how bright it is. Um, it's pretty simple using this. You touch that. We're going to turn this backlight down some. Maybe a little bit better, maybe right. Well, the hard part is until I get inside and look at this on a computer, or take this memory card out on the GoPro here and actually look at it on a uh, screen, it's gonna be tough. So the first thing about the chart is the chart is really upgraded and really, really nice. Um, I mean, it's got, you with Garmin Homeport, I was able to import all my waypoints from the 7607, so that wasn't a problem. But the nice thing about this is I downloaded an ultra high definition, um, high res, uh, I think that's what they call it, division, the H3, I think, um, map. And uh, Garmin's got a really good thing going on right now to where if you buy one of these, uh, there's a $200 mail-in rebate. Um, so you can get that, but I was able to download it. What it does is it basically shows a satellite view of the area. And it does um, contours and whatnot. Let's see if I can get back to this. Um, it'll show contours and depth shading. Like here along New Smyrna Beach right here, you can see the depth shading. It lists all the artificial reefs uh, in the area. Now, I bought the one for East Central Florida. I didn't download, you know, the World one or whatever. But uh, you can see... All the reefs out here marked off the beaches and all that. The depth on the inshore is really, really cool. Um, as you're running the boat and whatnot, you know, in the central Florida area where I'm at, it will show you all of the, uh, you know, sandbars, banks, depth shading. The 7607 had that. This one's a little bit better definition, high definition. Um, you know, up here around Ponce Inlet, you can see... You know, you can see the shading of the sandbars and whatnot. That was pretty cool. For me, that's not a super big deal because I'm, you know, we're not really running, you know, a bigger boat to where, oh, I need to know where it goes from eight foot to two foot. You know, our boats go in a foot of water. Um, I like it just for the fact that you can um, see the color shading and all that, especially when I'm offshore, you know, running the beaches, looking for tarpon, you know, fishing the artificial reefs and stuff for snapper. So, let's look at the uh, uh, side imaging for a second. Now, granted, since I'm in the house here, I don't have a... Well, first of all, let's go over the screen. So, it's a 10-inch screen vertically here. Um, it's And I believe... Let me look here real quick. I did uh, take some of the specs down. Uh, the difference between the one I had and this one is that the other one I had, the specifications were... 
Um, the pixels were like 480 by 700. This one is, yeah, it's uh, 1920 by 1200 pixels. So it's definitely ultra high definition. So when you go to the sonar, you know, uh, cl uh, clearly it's not gonna show uh, any of the um, uh, pictures or the sonar because I don't have the transducer set up. But I did buy the ultra high definition, which is the 1200 uh, megahertz or one gigahertz, whatever it's called. And the other day I was out there and I was able to take a couple pictures of some screenshots. Let me see if I can. Yep, okay, so <clears throat> I was able to take some pictures. I had to go to, uh, it's, uh, you go to user data, then I just didn't scroll down, it's image viewer. And then memory card slot one. So this will give you an idea of some of the uh, pictures. Let's see if it's in here. Here we go. Uh, the side imaging and whatnot. Uh, this is just going down a channel. You can see fish here, fish here. Very, very nice. Let's see, where's the back button? Uh, this is another one. Um, you can see the fish. It, it, I don't know how easy it is to see on this screen. Here, let me use this little pointer right here. But I can see tail fins on these fish right here. Then you can see the shadows over here. That looks like a fish. You can make it out. And granted, I'm still getting used to this, fine-tuning the contrast and the uh, brightness and the color scheme and all that kind of stuff. But to me, the image quality is phenomenal. Like right here is two dolphins when they went by. Um, like I'm talking like bottlenose dolphin, not the mahi dolphin. And let's see here. Here's a, this is a really good qual image quality right here. So this is at Ponce Inlet, the rocks. As I'm just going along the rocks, you can clearly see those are rocks. And one thing I'm really impressed about this unit is the is the um, uh, uh, the clarity, the night and day difference between the 7607 and this, and the the transducer is worth its weight in gold. But let's see, where's another picture? I think I just did that one. Let's see this one. Yeah, more rocks and whatnot. Uh, just the the clarity as I went back the other side. So this is towards the channel side coming in Ponce Inlet. You can see the bottom depth. You know, it's out to 55 feet right here. And it's just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal um, the way this thing views and whatnot. Um, the traditional down scan is really neat. The clear view scan is really neat. Clearly don't have a transducer hooked up. Um, the side imaging, I've got combo set up. You know, I, I did a combo to where I can have the map and then have the down view or a combo the map and then a side imaging. So if I'm out there trying to find one of the artificial reefs or something, I can just uh, go on to combo and still look at it. The, the screen size on this is incredible. Now, one thing that they did with this unit that uh, was different than the other units is they've, they've let the whole screen be. The memory card slots are on the back. Let me see if I can turn this over for just a second. Not messing anything up here. So the one thing that's really neat, and I'll tell you what, one thing about this unit, it is built like a tank. So one thing about this is, I don't know if you can see it, I got the lights off in here, is you've got your places for the transducers. Um, and one place is for the live scope, which um, I've been looking at that. Here's your memory card slot right here. Uh, it uses the... Um, the micro SD cards. Let me turn that back around. Let's see if I can zoom that back in, make sure I got the picture in there. Yep. So they've they've made the unit a little bit narrower because without having that memory card slot here and then having all this just useless space, it's now all screen. So it's not much bigger than the 7607, but they've taken advantage of the space and used it. So it fits on the uh, on the helm or the center console of my boat really well. And the other thing I like, the mounting bracket that came with it that's you know on the boat is not plastic. They've gone to a metal mounting bracket. So it was a lot more secure, a lot more safe I felt with it. But just to go through a few of the things on here. So the fishing chart that you've got on here, it will show, uh, de look at the uh, screen. Uh, here's Lake Harney. Buck Lake, the color and contour of this is phenomenal.
how they've got good satellite pictures, good satellite view. Um, just incredible. You can choose the color that you want for shallow water. Like this is the uh, lagoon, Indian River over here. Um, you can just see how the color is just phenomenal. And then for those of you that are going to use it for navigation, it's got a 3D chart. You know, so this would be what it looks like, you know, as you're going down the water or whatever, which I really would never use this. But I guess if you're in a bigger boat or something, you want to see the depth of the water and then the curvature, the angles of the channel or whatever. Then you got fish eye view, which is pretty cool. You know, I haven't really played with a lot of this yet. Uh, like I said, the combos, uh, the smart mode. Um, let's go back here. Uh, let's see, charts. And then uh, the, the other thing is you got sonar. I mean, not sonar, but you do have the radar. You can hook up your cameras. You know, you got your vessel, Active Captain. So Active Captain is a new app, I think, what they have to where you can actually do stuff with your cell phone and whatnot. Um, the vessel, you know, you can set up, if you're using it to do some serious navigation, like in a bigger boat, you got to think, I'm in a flats boat. I'm using it just to look around docks and stuff for snook and tarpon, uh, bass fishing type of scenario, you know, just searching weed lines, searching depth lines. When I'm out over the reefs and artificial wrecks, you know, 80 foot, 70 foot of water, it comes in really nice to um, to uh, locate those, which is cool. Uh, but it's got a lot of different features. You can actually watch video on here. It's got Wi-Fi, uh, you know, the camera, um, uh, with the VRRB camera that they sell, the 360 degree one. Um, so it's got a lot of different features. It's the same basic setup as you would with um, the other Garmin units that you've had. Here's the tides, uh, the tide chart. You know, this, uh, let's see, I think it does Celestia to, let's see here, uh, current date and time, back. Uh, here it is, Celestial. So it shows you the moon phase, the sun phase, sunrise, sunset, the date. Today's June 15th. But uh, overall, I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with it. More than anything, like I said, when I'm out there and I'm looking at the docks now and I'm looking at the inlet or I'm just cruising a general area, the difference between the ultra high definition and that regular, uh, uh, the 480 pixel was just blew my mind away. Um, it's a little bit more money, a lot more money actually. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you're serious and you're going to use it for that, like I said, the navigational part of it's pretty neat. Um, I'll use it for that every now and then you get currents, which I don't really have that set up for anything. Um, you know, like I said, for the whole use of just using it for the side imaging and the navigational basic navigation, I find this great. I mean, I imagine if you're in a bigger boat and you're doing some serious traveling, like going maybe from West Palm Beach to the Bahamas, or going up and down, and you have a boat that you can sleep in or navigate in, I would imagine that, um, you know, a bigger screen, if I had the space on board, sure, who would not want the 12 inch or 16 inch screen? But I think the price difference to go from the 10 inch here to the 12 inch Garmin 8600 series was over $1,000. And then to go up to the 16 inch, it was another 2,000. I think you're talking around, you know, six, seven thousand dollars. But you know, if you're buy, if you have a boat that's you know four, five, six hundred thousand dollars, I guess it's worth it. Um, and I do have another transducer on it. I think it's the T41M, which is for more for deeper water and all that, but uh, like over a hundred foot of water. So I, I'm able to switch them back and forth back here. Just plug one in, unplug the other. So I've got two transducers on the boat, but the ultra high definition one, the 54 UHD, I think is the one I bought. I think it's 350 for it. Um, it was worth its weight in gold just to get that, what, 1.2 gigahertz or 1.2, uh, yeah, gigahertz or 1200 hertz, whatever. Um, best design for shallow water, you know, up to 80 feet or whatever. And most of the water I'm scanning, you know, for side imaging or down view or whatever is in... Um, it's usually in, you know, 20 foot of water, 18 foot, 30 foot, 
Um, you know, like at the inlet and stuff, you're running along the beaches and whatnot. You get over some of the reefs and stuff. It's 54, 60, 70 foot. Now you get to South Florida, you can get out there and get in some pretty deep water. But do your research on the transducer. But the transducer, like I said, the 54 UHD, when I talked to Garmin, they said it is an all-in-one transducer. It does everything. Uh, so it's it's just worth it's worth it to do it. The Garmin, the unit here, when you buy it, it comes with all the cables. I think 30 foot of cable. I bought an extra cable back here. So when I do, uh, you know, I used to do all the work in the boat, like when I would do updates and whatnot. Now it's nice just to hook it up to a lawnmower battery, 12 volt lawn. You can keep it in the house. You can sit here in AC. I mean, here it is. We're June and it is freaking warm outside. So to sit in the boat out there, you'd be cooking. Plus to be able to see this, it's a lot easier to see it here in the living room. Um, yeah, it comes with all the, all the hardware. You can mount it in the dash or you can mount it on the bracket, which I've always been curious. Why would you want to mount it in the dash? Because the nice thing about this is if you own two boats, you could just take it off and carry it to another boat. There's no reason to own two units. Um, I've never understood that why a lot of people like to put them in the dash on these smaller flats boats and stuff when one, you can take it inside when I travel. I don't drive down the road with it on the boat, uh, rocks bounce up and hit it. So I steal it. It's not exposed to the elements. So I've always carry it in and off the boat whenever I'm done. Um, you know, think of it like your cell phone or something, just bring it inside the house. Uh, so it comes with all the cables. Um, you're going to want to get a couple memory cards. And like I said, you can download the uh, ultra high definition. I think it's a vision map is what it's called. And right, right now, if you buy that in combination with this up through June or July of 2020, uh, there's a $200 mail-in rebate. So go to Garmin and check that out. But, uh, once again, um, it, it is a phenomenal unit. I'll tell you what, I am just so impressed with it. Again, we'll look at this memory, uh, the viewing here. I mean, like I said, the detail, like there's the rocks again. Just, it just, I keep wanting to push those buttons to move it because the picture, I keep forgetting it's a picture. Just incredible, incredible footage, you know. Like I said, you can look here, the fish. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, these were a school of redfish. And just, uh, just incredible. Yep, you, there's two dolphin. And I did have some screenshots I took the other day. I thought I saved them. I guess they're not on here. To where you could actually see the redfish. And on here, you could see their dorsal and their back fin. Or their tail fin. Their dorsal and their tail fin. Just the image quality is so intense. Um, I'm sold on this. And as technology improves as the days go on, years go on, I can't imagine what the next generation of side imaging is going to come look like. And like I said, now the live scope, uh, this has got live scope capability. So to buy that, the problem with that, the transducer is like $1,500. And that's a big jump just for a transducer. But when I see some of the live scope uh, footage of guys using it, it's like, wow, just wow, big time. But uh, other than that, I couldn't be more impressed with this. So again, it's the 8610 XSV. Um, I think it runs around $2,800, somewhere around there, just for the uh, unit, uh, give or take. Right now, there's a lot of sales. Like I said, you got a rebate and then the transducer and all that, but worth its weight in gold. If uh, those of you that are really looking to use it in depth between 10, 50 foot, bass fishing, you know, tarpon fishing, snook fishing, crappie fishing. Uh, I had a client not long ago on the boat. He has the same unit. He uses it for his crappie up in Iowa or something. And uh, he's thoroughly happy with it. So, again, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters. And uh, I want to wish everybody a happy day and have a great summer. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.